Hey everybody, it's Jim from Cigars, Cigars, Cigars. Today we're going to talk about relative humidity. And if you've smoked cigars for any period of time at all, you're very familiar with the 70 degree Fahrenheit, 70% relative humidity guideline. But what I'm going to show you today is if we stick to humidity and just look at humidity, we can get ourselves in some pretty serious trouble. It's like a sun in here. <laughs> what I have here is a little demonstration. And I have three glasses because what this is demonstrating is the warmer air gets, the more humidity it has the capability of holding. So we start out with our smaller glass at 62 degrees Fahrenheit, and our middle one is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and our big one is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So each of these glasses is filled to 70%. So I think you can probably see the point here is the warmer the air is, the more moisture it holds. Even though you're, you're saying, oh, it's 70% relative humidity, I'm in great shape, your air is much more moist at 78 degrees than it is at 70 or 64. So let's see exactly what the moisture difference is. What I'm showing you right now is called a psychrometric chart. And it's used by engineers in positions where they're figuring out climate control and relatively sophisticated applications. And I'm not gonna dig deep into it here, but I, I kind of illustrated the red line, the black line, and the blue line to correspond to those glasses that I just showed you. And this puts an actual number to that, that demonstration. And so to kind of give you the summary, at 78 degrees Fahrenheit, we have about 100 grains of moisture. That's a raw way of figuring out what moisture is in the air. Raw, 100 grains of moisture, pound of dry air. At 70 degrees Fahrenheit, we have about 78 grains of moisture. And that's where we want to be. That's what our 70-70 our guideline is really telling us to do. At the 100 grains, we're going to be way too humid and we're going to get mold and sogginess and all that stuff. Now let's go down to 62, and what we see at 62, it goes down to about 58 grains. So if you live in a climate where it gets cold in the winter and your humidor drifts down to low 60s or something like that, your cigars are, over the period of time in the winter, probably going to dry out a little bit unless you give it a little extra oomph. So that's a quick explanation of this, but now I want to tell you about a couple ways that we can actually resolve this issue. Man, it is hot today. Whoa, it's hot out here, man. It is hot today. There's really two ways to resolve the issue between temperature and humidity and make sure that we're putting the right amount of moisture into our humidor. One way is, in, in the most obvious way, is to control the temperature in your humidor. And if you're very fortunate to have a temperature-controlled humidor, as, as are on the market, like a little wine fridge type thing, you've resolved that problem, so you don't have to worry about it. So that's certainly one way to do it. What I do, because I don't have that kind of a humidor, is I found a spot where it is pretty consistently about 68 degrees uh, year round, almost, almost sort of a wine cellar environment. If you can find a spot in your house to, to store your cigars where you can keep it as close to 70 as possible, that's what you want to try to do. One thing you should always have is a good hygrometer, one that shows both temperature and humidity. On my old fashioned humidors, I have those spring ones that are like a dial and you're looking at humidity. You're seeing relative humidity and you're not seeing temperature. So this gives you that view in one look. These are about 10 or 11 bucks or 12 bucks on, online. Another way of resolving the issue, aside from temperature, is to use these humidity packs. It's a very neat product. You can buy them in whatever percentage you want to control, 65, and this one happens to be 69. And how these really work, it's a paper-like material, and this paper-like material allows two-way movement of moisture. It's almost self-regulating. So if, if it's very humid in your humidor, you're actually, this is actually going to withdraw some of that humidity from your humidor and, and bring it back into the packet. But if it's very dry in your humidor, this is going to send out the moisture. It works on water, on, on principle water vapor pressure. And if you look at the material on these, it's actually a very paper-like material. 
And don't let that don't let that fool you. These don't can't ruin your cigars by touching them or stuff like this. How paper transfers humidity is kind of interesting. We can do a little another yet another science experiment. If we talk through this or blow through this and we put our hands on it, you can actually feel the heat. And that's a, the moisture from your, the heat and the moisture from your uh, breath heating up the paper and actually going through the paper because we're putting more vapor pressure inside than out. So if we say something like, please subscribe to Cigars, 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 and we feel it, you can actually feel the warmth on this. A fun experiment you can do at home. So anyway, I hope you got something out of this video. I already got more fun stuff like this coming. So I will see you next time from Cigars, Cigars, Cigars.